Are you looking for decor items that will add those cottagey layers to your home on a budget? It has been far too long since you and I have had a proper antique and thrift haul. So today we'll do a little shopping and then look through our treasures and talk about how to implement them into our homes. I hope you find some inspiration on what to look for and how to use it. Hi friend and welcome. I'm Rachel from the blog Stone Cottage Home where we create a home from our hearts with our hands. It has been a few months since you and I have done any thrift or antique shopping and gone through our treasures and talked affordable cottagey home decor. So today that's what we're going to do. Stick around to the end of our visit and I will share with you the beautiful antiques that I have found along the way. I rarely shop with a list, but I keep my inspiration pictures in mind. These lamps, but not this price. I've been admiring these Scotty Dog sketches on Etsy, but again, I don't want to pay $50 plus shipping. Slowly but surely, I've been collecting pieces for a gallery wall to put in the study over Matt's desk. It will include ships, maps, and monuments. I don't mind waiting patiently and spending a bit more on just the right piece. These next few photographs are extremely inspiring to me. They were created by Marion Parsons, also known as Miss Mustard Seed. I would love to create something similar that would give that European English country house feeling in our living room and I can picture it in those built-ins that we've been talking about. Let's go shopping! you enjoy those random clips of shopping trips that we have taken over the last few months and now it's time to look through our treasures. Every February we look forward to a massive book sale here in our area. There are literally thousands of books that are sold and in the main room hardcover books are a dollar and softcover are 50 cents. There's two sides to the sale on the smaller side, they've 
pre-curated the books for a more collected look. They're a little bit higher quality, a little bit more rare. So we generally go straight for the old historical hardbound books. And here is what we found. This set of three is Historical Tales. This one is Historical Tales from England. And it is copyright of 1893. This one is by Washington Irving and it is on the life of George Washington, our first president. It has a gorgeous lithograph in the front. Take a look at this. And then finally, we got The Life of Isaac Watts. Beautiful old book. And it is copyright 1914. All three of these books together were $3 each. And I'm excited to add them to our bookshelf. This next little item is secondhand, but it was a gift from a friend of mine that I have made on Instagram. She has a booth, an antique booth, with lots of English cottagey style decor. You can find her at underscore corner cottage underscore and she sent me over this adorable little ceramic terrier. He's so proud and happy looking. Now you all know that probably about a year ago, two years ago now, I found this big one and have loved setting him all around in different places. So now we have a little pair. I just adore him and wanted to say thank you. Next up is a beautiful dish that I found on Etsy. It is called cabbage ware. It's white, it's highly textured, and I was looking for something that I could use that would hold pencils in a desk or fruit on a table. It was a little bit deeper than I had thought it was going to be online because I thought it would look lovely on the wall. But I'm absolutely loving it in our kitchen with fruit. If you've been here for a visit or two, you know that we're working on a makeover in our living room. And one of the things that I was looking for was a trio of blue dishes to hang on the wall as artwork. Now I already had two plates that were gifted to me and as soon as I had the idea, I knew I wanted to put one in the middle that was a little bit of a different shape and I went straight to my local antique mall and straight to my favorite booth and I knew she would have just what I was looking for. This beautiful blue dish made the perfect third piece to fill out that trio and I love how it looks in my living room. Also in the world of blue and white ironstone, I've been inspired by the collections of Miriam Parsons, also known as Miss Mustard Seed. She has some beautiful shelf styling that she's done. And from that inspiration, I looked around on Etsy and eBay and found this gorgeous antique pitcher. I have loved using this just as is for uh, holding bouquets of flowers. I guess a proper collection has three, so I don't quite have a collection, but here's a little one that I found to go with the bigger one. It was off of eBay and the gentleman was so nice that sold it to me, he gave me a discount. Here's the smaller picture and these are the roses that Matt got me for Valentine's Day. Now this next item is pretty big. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show it to you from here, but we'll try. I've been 
looking for more lighting and I found this at the thrift store. <laughs> I will show you my inspiration picture and the prices, but I found these two pieces separately. The base was $8 and I believe the shade was between three and five. I'm still thinking about whether or not I want to redo this shade. I thought about spray painting it black or making a pleated lampshade for it. Lighting is one of the best ways to add cottage style to your home and lovely layers. Here is the second lamp that I found. This one was on Marketplace. It is solid brass, so it's pretty heavy. I love how this has almost a hand hammered textured feel to it and that it has such a, a stout profile. This one is very distinctive and it adds a definite English style to our living room. You've probably noticed it in a couple different backdrops as well as in our Christmas entryway video that we did, but I hadn't showed it to you on here so I thought I would. Now this wouldn't be a proper thrift haul without baskets. I found this one for three to five dollars. It is hard side and I've been using it as a waste basket in my office. A vast improvement on the plastic paint dripped one I had been using. I also found this split oak basket in the picnic style. I love that it has these handles. I've been using this as decor on top of my refrigerator, but it also serves the practical purpose of storing our paper napkins and cloth napkins. Very handy for dinner time. Two other items that I've picked up from the textile section are these two pillows you see in the background. Let me grab those for you. The first one is this rather limey green with pin tucks across the front. It's plain on the back and it is not very wide so it's perfect for stacking in with other pillows or just giving you that little bit of a cushion that you're looking for. Both of these pillows are feather filled so they washed up nicely. This other one is very cottagey. It's got a scattering of rosebuds on one side, a narrow crocheted edge, and on the front, a lovely bouquet of roses that look like silk screen or hand painting. This one is very plump, so, and firm, also feather filled. I have found that using feather pillows and throws is one of the best ways to add that comfy, cozy cottage layering to your home on a budget. Both of these were probably, I don't remember, but between three and five dollars each. As you know, I'm working on several gallery walls for our home and it takes time to find just the right subject and size and frame. I have found three pieces I'm very excited about. The first one is this castle. It's a lithograph, hand-colored lithograph. This one has a little bit of quirk to it because it says on the bottom, I'll read it to you. Thornbury Castle, Gloucester. Begun and left unfinished by Edward, Duke of Buckingham, who was beheaded in the reign of Henry VIII. <laughs> and then on the back, in case you were wondering how to reach this castle, it says, directions. All timings are approximate by rail, London, Paddington to Bristol, about one and a half hours. By car, they have several options. And then it says, by helicopter. <laughs> Please advise us in advance. I just love pieces like this. Can you believe I found a piece of art so close to my inspiration picture? With my discount, this one was $4.24 and I do plan to swap out the frame. Sometimes you save and sometimes it's time to splurge. We've been looking for just the right ship painting for about three years. 
when we spotted this one on Etsy. This was an investment piece and a Valentine's gift for Matt. It is a great example that if you are careful with your budget, you save where you can, and you have specific items that you're looking for that are a little bit more expensive, everything will even out over time. Everyone has a budget. You could choose to spend your money on lots of little things or save for a longer period of time and buy one thing you're really excited about. For me, these antique ironstone pictures are an example of just that idea. I have a vision long term that I would like to use them for and I saved my thrifting and birthday money for three or four months. The larger picture I found on eBay for 106, the smaller one for 68, and I love them. I forgot to include this charming collie dog when I was showing you my other dogs earlier. I found this one at the antique store for $15, so I now have an official collection. From our inspiration pins, we have gained a direction for our interior design. We've been careful with our shopping dollars. Now it's time to add in those cottage style layers. As I'm sure you well know, this is so rewarding. I look at this vignette every morning as I walk down the hallway and marvel at how cheaply it all can be found if you are patient. As promised, here is the lovely antique chair I found. I spotted it first on Marketplace and then discovered it was listed from a booth in my local antique store. It is in the East Lake style. The upholstery was in perfect condition and it fits just charmingly in the corner of our bedroom. Friends, I hope you enjoyed today's shopping and thrift haul. Let me encourage you, the best way to add those cottage layers to your home that truly reflect your personality and that work and function well for your home and your family is to buy well, buy slowly. It is going to take a while to curate all those things that are a perfect fit for your design aesthetic. It is better to buy fewer things that you're more excited about than lots of things that are a good bargain. If you're looking for more inspiration on what to look for to add those cottage layers to your home on a budget, I will include my thrift playlist for you here. Thank you for coming along today. Be sure to subscribe for more visits like this one. And until next time, take care.